What's up, ladies and gentlemen? It is your boy, Brando, back again with yet some more Call of Duty news. So in case you guys missed it, Warzone and Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War Season 5 has been delayed. The Cold War update goes live tonight at 9 p.m. Pacific time, and the Warzone update goes live August 12th at 9 p.m. Pacific time, which is 5 a.m. UK time. And Season 5 begins August 12th at 9 p.m. Pacific time, August 13th at 12 a.m. Eastern time. And also, guys, in case you guys missed it, Officially, the Black Ops Cold War and Warzone Battle Pass trailer has been put out by Treyarch. It was accidentally leaked yesterday by PlayStation. I put it on my channel, so if you guys haven't watched it yet, definitely go check it out on my channel. But today, guys, I want to talk to you about everything that is coming during Season 5, the different uh, weapons that is coming, the different skins that is coming, the blueprints, and also I want to talk to you guys about Call of Duty Vanguard reveal event and date has been leaked. So without further ado, guys, let's get into the video. You can unlock Kitsune immediately at uh, Tier 0. All you got to do is buy the Battle Pass. And Kitsune also comes with two Operator missions that can be completed to unlock new customization content. Other tiers of the Battle Pass, such as Tier 20 with Hunter's Visionary Skin, have Operator missions for multiplayer and for zombies, which double up on new content you can earn by completing objectives. You can complete... Uh, Kitsune Security Expert, Operator Mission, and Multiplayer to Unlock Her Fiber Optic uh, Mission. And uh, also, you can do Sunset Operator Skins among the other rewards, or even the Dimensional Anomaly Operator Mission in Zombies to earn an additional four items, including Kitsune's Critical and Fragment Operator Skins. Another Tier 0 skin that you can unlock is the Garcia Operator skin and different missions. The Ruthless Garcia prepares to lead the next revolution at Tier 0. You can get his epic Repel Leader Operator skin along with extra rewards from completing his Operator mission, including two additional Operator skins, Ranchero and Vaquero. Uh, Crimson Oni Watch, call upon the power of the Oni and keep your eye on the time while you're using the epic Crimson Oni Watch. And also for Seasonal XP Boost, Purchase the Season 5 Battle Pass and enjoy a 10% increase in all XP earned during the season. And for the first time with Call of Duty, those who purchase the Battle Pass bundle before August 31st will receive this bonus Legendary Operator skin for Kitsune. It is called Kiabi. A fitting gear set for an operator whose namesake translates to Fox. This exclusive operator skin combines a traditional festival mask with a classy yet tactical attire complete with a black tie and even a cape. This operator skin can only be attained for a limited time, meaning early adopters of the Battle Pass bundle will get the opportunity to show off a truly legendary operator skin through Season 5 and beyond. There's also going to be uh, other new operator skins and finishing moves that is coming in the bundle as well. Now you'll have to wait 10 more tiers until you're able to unlock a new operator skin. And the name of that skin is Payback. It is, it is a wood skin at uh, tier 10. When businesses start to get personal, Woods is ready to get even, gearing up for the fight with this Payback operator skin. You can complete his operator mission to earn his Resilience and Vigilance operator skins, as well as an epic calling card and emblem as well. At tier 50, you can unlock the uh, Scuba Diver Baker skin. You can hit the high seas and board enemy craft with Baker's Scuba Diver Operator skin, outfitting him in full tactical scuba gear. You can complete his operator mission to earn the Sand Dab and Underwater Operator skins, plus the Mind Games finishing move, which is unlocked at tier 19. You can knock your enemies off their feet, then finish the job with the Combat Reversal, which can be equipped by all operators throughout the Operator menu in Warzone or through the Weapons menu in Black Ops Cold War. Which weapons will these operators wield in this combat season? In addition to 100 existing armaments in Warzone, two more are being added to the table, and both are obviously available uh, from the Battle Pass for free. There is new base weapons, and there is two of them right now that has been shown by Call of Duty. The first weapon that you can unlock is the EM2 Assault Rifle at Tier 15. It is a British EM2 Full Auto Assault Rifle. Adds another hard-hitting bull op option to a category already overflowing with versatility. In traditional multiplayer environments, the EMT demands your attention to keep its improved accuracy true to its word. With an optional task force barrel to it, it can become a reliable three-shot el elimination at ranges up to at least 50 meters. Otherwise, a headshot needs to be mixed in for a faster down. 
Don't let the weapon's slow fire rate deter you. With the built-in low optic zoom, it is a force at range calling upon marksmen to use it and defend their allies with all their might, according to Call of Duty on their blog. Now, at Tier 31, you can unlock the Tech 9 SMG. It is a semi-auto, like I said, a semi-auto Tech 9 is one of the most unique SMG options yet for a Cold War game. Given that its action me mechanism is the first of its category across all games. On its own, the Tech 9 can eliminate targets in three shots anywhere within 10 meters. Its blowback nature allows operators to place their shots more accurately, differing dramatically from a category filled with more traditional spray and pray options. But it doesn't always have to be semi auto. Operators can now outfit it with one of two unique attachments that changes fire type to either three round bursts or even fully automatic. These attachments also come with built-in position concealment, making it great for stealthy infiltrations and for the fully auto modifier specifically, it makes this SMG more viable when considering hip fire uh, rushing tactics. Both options increase fire rate, but in an exchange, operators must exercise more recoil control with those faster follow-up shots. Now the choice is yours. Now, in this battle pass, there is also new weapon blueprints for a total of 20 custom weapon blueprints, including over a dozen legendary weapons and an ultra-rarity version of the new assault rifle are available to you in Season 5 Battle Pass. The first blueprint is called the Great Emperor Assault Rifle Blueprint. You can unlock this during Tier 5. It looks pretty cool. It looks like a royal dragon that is on top of the uh, assault rifle. The next blueprint is the Red Torpedo Assault Rifle Blueprint. It is free at tier 55. Uh, this looks more like an amphibious assault uh, rifle design. It looks pretty cool as well. Now, during uh, tier 85, you'll be able to unlock this tactical rifle blueprint called Death Angel. Um, this looks pretty cool too. It literally looks like a black and white version of attack rifle with uh, Death Angel on there. That looks pretty sweet as well. Now, also at tier 95, there is also a Cold War and Warzone blueprint, and you can unlock it, and it's called the Geomatic. It is a ultra-rarity assault rifle weapon blueprint based on the new functional weapon unlocked earlier in the Battle Pass, which is the new assault rifle. Now, at Tier 100, the Kitsune Ultra-Rarity Operator skin, and you also unlock more at Tier 100 as well. So, in addition to the Samurai Ultra-Rarity Kitsune uh, skin and operator mission, um, you can also get the Microchip Legendary SMG Blueprint. This is a tech-savvy blueprint weapon and is the first available for the new SMG found for free earlier in the Battle Pass. With attachments like the Ember Red Sighting Point for improved reveal distance and hip fire accuracy in the 6.6 .6 Ranger for 100% increase of bullet velocity, you'll be tuning armies of ones into zeros. You'll also get the FAV, the TAC Rover Vehicle Skins, and Season 5 Emblem as well once you complete tier 100 of the battle pass in addition to all the content you'll be getting in the battle pass you'll also be getting two free war track packs in addition to new um new stuff that is coming to the store there'll be uh, different weapons to be coming to the store there is a uh, weapon blueprint called the white noise and is a reactive camo for the lmg and it's called amplify there will also be a blueprint for the cane, which is the new melee weapon that will be coming to Black Ops Cold War during the end season. And also you'll get a striker bundle, which is a, a new operator and new secondary weapons first bundle and an elite pack. And you also get the powder keg weapon blueprint, which will be uh, for the new pistol, um, which is called the match lock. This blueprint asphyxiates the break, break action double barrel secondary weapon with incendiary dragon's breath rounds, a shorter barrel, and even the ability to dual wield a weapon. As usual, all these attachments can be unlocked through leveling up the base weapon. So that new dual wield dragon's breath weapon might end up being the new meta in Warzone. All right, guys, the last bit of news that I have for you today covers uh, Call of Duty 2021, which is known as Call of Duty Vanguard. Your boy Tom Henderson put on Twitter that he has been able to confirm that August 19th will be the reveal date for Call of Duty Vanguard. Now, the speculation is we might get a teaser image with a teaser uh, trailer and then actually get an official trailer in a Warzone event that will be on August 24th. So without that... I can't wait till next week or next couple weeks. August is going to be huge for all Call of Duty games. 
and I can't wait to see what Call of Duty Vanguard has in store for us. Everyone is saying that this game is actually going to blow your mind. It's going to be a lot better than what everybody else thinks. Tom Henderson even said later on his Twitter that he's been requested by Activision to actually remove the tweets regarding anything about Call of Duty Vanguard that he's tweeted this morning. So more or less it's been confirmed by Activision by uh, being asked to take down those tweets. So, all right, guys, other than that, that's all I have for you today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Please smash the like button. Please subscribe if you're new to the channel. Hit the notification button so you guys never miss any uploads. All right, Squids, until next video. I'll see you later.